Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will be discussing on how we can use contrast enhanced ultrasound in characterizing benign lesions in the liver. Whenever we perform a contrast ultrasound study of the liver, we need to have these guidelines in mind because they are very well established and what they help us to do is come to a conclusion with a great degree of certainty as to what a particular type of lesion should be. Whenever we are looking at benign liver lesions, we need to remember that most of them will show a sustained enhancement in the portal or the late phases, that is there will not be any presence of washout and then we can use the arterial phase to characterize the lesions further. So I am going to be showing you some examples where we have used contrast ultrasound very effectively in our clinical practice. This was an elderly gentleman who came to us with a hypoechoic lesion in the liver and when we performed contrast ultrasound, we saw that this was actually iso-enhancing to the rest of the liver parenchyma, so this was only a fat sped area. Another patient where we saw a hypoechoic lesion in the liver and on performing contrast ultrasound, we saw that there is only peripheral enhancement and there is no internal enhancement at all, so this was actually a granuloma. These two cases actually exemplify how effective contrast ultrasound really is. So this first case over here, we saw that this was actually a solid appearing lesion on B mode. But when we perform contrast ultrasound, we saw that there is only peripheral enhancement. So this was actually a non-liquefied abscess. So almost a solid looking lesion, but it was a non-liquefied liquefied abscess. Whereas in the second lesion over here, we were thinking in terms of an abscess because of the central necrotic area. But on performing the contrast study, we see that there is peripheral nodular enhancement. So this was actually a atypical hemangioma. Most of these cases don't really require a CT or a MR, but if we do it, it will really confirm our findings. For example, here is a hemangioma with the peripheral nodular enhancement. So the enhancement patterns in contrast ultrasound are similar to what we see in a CT scan. Here was another patient where we saw an ill-defined hypoechoic lesion in the liver. Again, we were not really sure what this is. We were thinking probably in terms of a fat sped area, but we went ahead and did the contrast ultrasound and we saw that this is actually showing arterial enhancement. So there's enhancement of the lesion in the arterial phase and it is appearing iso enhancing in the portal venous and the delayed phases. So we came to a conclusion of a adenoma. Another case over here where we saw an ill-defined lesion in the liver. So it was a solid hypoechoic ill-defined lesion. And again, we are not sure what exactly this is. We performed the contrast study and we see that we, there is a centrifugal filling pattern and the lesion appears a little hyper enhancing on the portal venous phases, but iso enhancing on the delayed phases. And importantly, there is a hypo enhancing scar which can be identified over here. So this was actually an FNH. Compare this to a CT scan, again, we will see very similar findings. But in conclusion, what we can see is ultrasound contrast is a very effective modality, especially for getting an immediate answer. And most of these cases will not need any further investigation. This will not only alleviate your anxiety, but also the patient's anxiety. Thank you very much.